Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? So today we're going to be talking about why this Nintendo expansion pack thing is bullshit. In my opinion, I, I, I like what they offer. You know, uh, Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, I, I, I like it. Including the new Animal Crossing DLC, I like it. It's just why... Why so much? I know, I know the typical uh, Nintendo Switch Online price is twenty dollars. If they price it at thirty, uh, I'll, I'll be okay with that. Fifty, fifty is a bit too much. Now, my my apologies for going straight into it. I just have a lot to say when it when it comes to this. And my apologies if this is gonna be more of a uh, rant type video. Like I said, I got a lot to say about this. I have a lot of ideas. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be a bit more rambly on this video. So so I mean, fifty dollars a month. That that's that's honestly a lot. At least for what Nintendo's offering. I mean, the online connection is kind kind of kind of trash for me. Smash Bros. is still have to play online. Animal Crossing is eh. It's all right. What I'm saying is Nintendo Switch Online just on a basic level isn't the best. And just because they put on the Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis doesn't make it worth it. In my opinion, if you're going to charge $50 a month, you, you got to <laughs> you gotta make it worth it. You got to work hard for my 50 bucks. How about some GameCube? How about some Game Boy? Hell, even Virtual Boy. How about adding some good SNES games like Chrono Trigger, Mario RPG, all those games, or hell, maybe even Street Fighter. Who knows? I mean, hey, why not upgrade the servers? Why not make Smash Bros. Online a little bit better? Why not make the online experience better? Why not, you know, upgrade the system? Why not add a system chat, just like the Xbox and the PS4? How about you get rid of that friend code shit? If Nintendo did all that, maybe I would consider spending 50 bucks on Nintendo Switch Online. Now, another part that I want to talk about is the games. When it comes to N64, I already have a decent amount of them. I have Mario 64. Mario Kart 64 and Star Fox 64. I actually had Zelda, but I ended up selling it. I will admit the game lineup is pretty decent. What they have ahead is pretty decent. But there is one thing I do want to say. Some people who will buy the expansion pack, I, I get it. You know, playing playing N64 on Nintendo Switch, it's it's cool. But I personally feel like you can get the real system and the games for below that price. And, and, and I, I get it. I get it. Not everybody wants to buy a real Nintendo 64 and buy the real games. I, I understand. I personally feel like this is better than paying for a Nintendo Switch Online. I mean, if you want a certain game, you don't have to wait for Nintendo to put it online. You can just buy it yourself. Or you want that Japanese import, you don't have to wait for it. You can just go ahead and buy it. Then again, I, I get it. Not, not everybody wants to do that. Not everybody's into collecting the real thing. I, I understand. And it's, it's just my personal feeling that if you're going to charge me 50 bucks for online, you got to make it worth it. Again, fix the servers, add GameCube, add Game Boy, add Virtual Boy, or just bring back the Virtual Console, make make everything easier. And when it comes to the Sega Genesis, again, I'm I'm, not, I'm gonna end up collecting the real thing eventually. When it comes to games, I I personally don't really care about it. I'm I'm not into it, so yeah, it's it's not really a big deal. But you know, again, he get the real system in the real games for cheaper. Either way, though, if you guys want to like, subscribe, do whatever you want, do no rush. Now tell me down below. Do you like the new Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack or do you not like it? Tell me down in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Peace.